Welcome to your March astrology. I took this footage last year in spring and I love this time of year. All of the buds are pushing through and I believe we can tune into that spring energy and feel ourselves empowered and our energy and our dreams are rising. This March's astrology is quite wonderful. We have the opportunity to open up our empathy but Saturn is going retrograde and it urges us to look at any commitments we've made and really reflect on what commitment means to us. Welcome to your March astrology. Sagittarius, the full moon is coming and it's in your position of career. Look out for some very powerful intuitions when it comes to your career. You really are finely tuned when it comes to knowing what the right thing is to do. So don't necessarily analyze it, don't intellectualize it. Allow yourself to use your intuition to sense the way. And look out for a sign or a synchronicity on the fifth that's telling you what exactly to do and how to go about it. And it's really a sense of feeling, a sense of wonder or a sign and symbol that's coming your way. On the 13th, Mercury, the planet of communication is making you have intense conversations or thoughts or communication around your home or family. It's very much in your mind, but the good news is you're very persuasive. You're able to persuade people your point of view. You're able to really look at things and talk about things and think about things to find the balance but you're very committed to communicating around home and family. Now on the 14th, that Saturn is going retrograde, like I said. And for you, it's the most intense of all. And that's because Saturn is in your sign going retrograde. So basically you're evaluating your whole life in lots of ways. You're looking at all the things you've committed to in the past, all of your responsibilities, and how you've handled them and how those responsibilities are reflecting on your life now. Cast your mind back, really look at all the things in your life you've ever been committed to or you've ever kind of taken seriously or you felt a, a responsibility and how that's impacted you as a person and how the person you are today is, what you're gonna to commit to in the next phase of your life. Because that's really what it's all about. It's reflecting so that you can move on so that you can take your commitments and make them work for you. Venus is making you a little bit insular. You're going deep within. You want to kind of fine tune your relationships. Watch out that you're not self-critical or critical of other people. Use that energy to really feel positive that you can transform your personal relationships and look at your own patterns and how you can shift them. It's a time where you need that quiet time to reflect and there's nothing wrong with that. And it certainly won't last forever because by the end of the month, and by the certainly when the sun shifts on the 20th right that three days later you're having the time of your life and there should be kind of soulmates and intensity and joy and flirtation also on the 20th we have the new super moon and it's a time of a new beginning connected to families and home so whatever 
you've communicated from the 13th to the 20th is bringing about great transformation and a new beginning, a new energy and a new start. There's also a total solar eclipse of the sun and you're feeling that it's a new beginning for you when it comes to happiness. Suddenly you're giving yourself permission to be happy. There'll be new experiences around you that make you happy and you feel very, very optimistic. Mercury is also shifting on the 31st to echo that to you. You're making people laugh, you're being flirtatious, you're feeling joyful about life. And so all the hard work you do at the beginning of the month and that little bit of space you take to kind of take time out and reflect will pay off great dividends. Mars is bringing you back into the reflection on the 31st. So really it's a balance between joy and happiness, taking care of yourself, doing the right thing and looking after yourself, particularly looking after yourself physically because Mars is a very physical planet. And it's it's good, you're finding the balance. You're not kind of just necessarily losing, losing yourself in a hedonistic lifestyle you're thinking right I'm going to take care of my body and my mind and my spirit but I'm also going to have a fine time take care and I'll speak to you soon I've got a ton of free readings articles and films on my website so pop over and visit me www.michellenight.com